is her mission. The 11th Fleet is concentrating here for special maneuvers now. In approximately 12 hours, our courses will intersect at this point. Does the Fleet Admiral know we plan to meet there? No, and that's the way we want to keep it. See, our orders are to submerge and track the fleet so they can uh, test their new special detection equipment. And then we're no more than a decoy. Right, but it's very important that their detection equipment should be tested to the fullest extent. Now, we'll see that it is. Admiral, is the skipper there with you? One moment, Chip. Yes, Chip, what is it? I have a report here from engineering. It looks serious enough to recommend putting about and returning to base. I'll be right there. Very lock him down, will you? Nothing is ever easy, is it? Any change? No, sir. But I can tell you one thing, Mr. Morton. It's hopeless. Let me see the report. This is your leak. That is serious. It's highly volatile. The slightest spark could set it off. Tell the Admiral what you told me, Chief. No, sir. Engineering reports that the only way to make repairs is to drain the entire missile fuel system. That means dry dock, sir. In that case, Admiral, we'd better reconsider. Right now, we belong in port. Now, engineering is wrong. If they don't know how to repair the leak, I do. Chief, break out a standard wrench kit. Meet me at frame 40. On the double. I sir. That's not exactly a safe job. I didn't say it was. Admiral, you'd better take this emergency breathing apparatus along with you. That's a small area down there, and the fumes are pretty strong. Actually, that's a good idea. Now, this shouldn't take long. Close the hatch after me. I don't want the fumes leaking through the ship in case anything happens. Aye, sir. Admiral, don't take any chances with that stuff. Okay. Okay. Are you kidding? Of course he will. Morning, Skipper. Oh, unless something goes wrong while he's working. possibly get that hatch open in time. I tried to tell him not to do it. He wouldn't listen. Stop it. Can't we do something? Like what? What about forcing oxygen through those cracks? Oh, he couldn't get enough in to have any effect at all. The EBA, you gave him a cartridge before he went down there. Yes, that would help if he were conscious, but I doubt if he is. That hatch, come on, get it open!
Skipper. Five. Most is air. Not getting much of that with this crowd around here. I right, sir. Come on, Ski. Let's go. Yes, Captain. I'll keep you posted. Uh, he'll be okay, though. After I give him a sedative and he gets a little rest, he'll be fine. Breathing device, Model A-14. One of these little gadgets saved his life, Chip. It's a good thing we stocked him aboard this trip. We intended to test it, but in my book, they've already passed that test with flying colors. You can say that again. I want you to issue one to every man aboard with orders to carry it at all times. Is this our position? Uh, as of five minutes ago. Uh, very well. Hold to this course, it's standard. What about the leak? Well, the Admiral managed to block off the trouble line just before the blast. That means one missile is out, but it's no problem. Any damage from the explosion? No, nothing serious. The mission is go. You were lucky all around. Huh? <laughs> Admiral, you're okay again. Hey, that's great. Chief Sharkey, I believe that you spent some time in the uh, regular Navy before you joined us. Yes, sir, I should have. Three hitches, 12 years. <laughs> but you're looking wonderful, sir. I assume that during that time you picked up at least the rudiments of simple military courtesy. Oh. Begging the Admiral's pardon, sir. Well, in the future, you please remember what you learned? Aye, aye, sir. Mm -hmm. Feeling all right, sir. What is this piece of equipment doing on the plot table? The EBA? I was just looking at it, sir. Mm. You may pursue your hobbies when you're off watch. Is that clear? Yes, sir, perfectly. Tell Captain Crane I'll expect him in my quarters in five minutes. Aye, right, sir. What was that all about? What did I say wrong?
present Kowalski, sir. Come in. She said you had a sick day, sir, so I brought you some hot coffee. Close the door. Right, sir. Did I order coffee? No, sir, but I, uh, I just thought you might like some. Drink it. Sir? I said, drink it. Again. Clear out of here and take your coffee with you. Aye, aye, sir. It's uh, good to see you feeling better, Admiral. Don't you mean it's uh, surprising to see me feeling better? Yes, it is in a way. Now, that was a close call. For a while there, we were afraid you were a goner. No, 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 no. I'm talking about after the explosion. Oh? You don't know what I mean, do you? No, sir, I'm afraid I don't. Good. Good. Glad to hear that, Lee. I... I just couldn't bring myself to believe that you were in on it. Well, Admiral, you, uh, you'd uh, better explain this to me. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. I want you to put the ship's doctor under arrest. Arrest? What for? What did he do? Are you disputing my orders, too? No, sir, of course not. But to arrest someone, there's got to be a charge. Oh, there'll be a charge, all right. A nice, fat charge. They'll get that sanctimonious man of medicine a general court-martial. I'm charging him with attempted murder. Not ten minutes ago, he tried to kill me. <laughs> What happened in here? You might call it a brief altercation. Uh, it looks to me more like a fight. Oh, man. Is that a bump on your jaw? No, it's uh, just a bruise. No uh, dislocation, fortunately. Not the Admiral. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Oh, here, let me, let me police this up for you, Doc. Thanks, Chief. What's this? I'm afraid you missed the main event, Captain. Uh, Chief. Sir. Um, I'll have someone straighten this out. Thank you. Aye, sir. So this is how the Admiral got out of the sick bay so fast. It's not a procedure I care to recommend. You might as well know this right away, Doc. He sent me down here to put you under arrest. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, what did you do to him? 
I tried to give him sedation when he attacked me and knocked me out. Well, what's wrong with him? If I didn't know him so well, the diagnosis would be simple. A classic case of paranoia. I can't believe that. There's got to be another explanation. He's the sanest man I've ever known. My opinion exactly. But look at the pattern. Abrupt personality change. Delusions, particularly of persecution. A violent behavior. Nice. I still can't buy it. I ordered you to put this man under arrest. He's already carried out your order, Admiral. Stay back. I'm speaking with the captain. It's true, sir. I've just told him to consider himself under official arrest. And why isn't he on the brig? In the brig? Admiral, I... Can't I trust anyone aboard this ship? Get it through your head. This man is dangerous. He's a killer. I want him locked up. <laughs> Well. Oh, very well, Doc. You'd, uh, you'd better come with me. I understand, Captain. Any attempt to resist or escape, and you'll be shot. Is that clear? Perfectly, Admiral. By your leave, Captain. Stay with him. Don't let him out of your sight. Reporting with the new watch, Mr. Morton. Very well. Excuse me, sir, but uh, all of a sudden we're uh, we're running a very formal ship. It's a little hard to get used to. The admiral wants a tight ship, and he's going to get one. Stand to the stations. Aye, sir. New watch. Stand to your stations. Look smart. Engineering, this is the exact. Engineering, I. Keep me up to date with progress reports on the situation down there. Aye, sir. Uh, everything all right, Kowalski? Yes, sir. We spoke too soon about the explosion damage. Well, what's wrong? Engineering reports weakened hull plates between frames 38 and 42. How serious? Well, they can repair them in about an hour as long as we stay on the surface. Well, what's our situation? Here's our position. The 11th Fleet is already concentrating about here. Mm -hmm. Well, that could be worse. By the time our courses intersect, there won't be any trouble submerging and getting out of sight. Well, that's the way I figured. Do you want us to continue on the surface until the repairs are completed? Definitely. Still on the surface, Mr. Morton. Take her down immediately. Sir, we're having a slight repair problem. Both the skipper and I consider it advisable to remain topside until it's taken care of. Oh. You consider it uh, advisable, do you, Mr. Morton? Yes, sir. And if I consider it inadvisable? 
In that case, sir, it would be a good idea if you discussed it with the skipper. I see. You are telling me that I no longer have a right to make decisions aboard my own ship. No, sir. You have every right to make all decisions aboard. Thank you, Mr. Morton. That is very kind of you. Now, take her down. What's the trouble, Admiral? No trouble at all. Order to dive, and Mr. Morton is going to be kind enough to carry out that order. Didn't he tell you about the repairs? Am I surrounded by sea lawyers? Does every order that I give have to be accompanied by detailed explanations? Sorry, Admiral. Chip, make all necessary preparations to dive. Aye, sir. Engineering, this is the exec. Engineering, aye. Secure the detail. We're going to dive. Well, that could be trouble, sir. Uh, now, engineering is taking over command. Mr. Morton, will you uh, answer them? Secure the work detail. Aye, sir. Well, carry on. Aye, aye, sir. You disapprove, Captain. I just don't see the necessity for a dive at this time. Well, I do. A submarine on the surface is a sitting duck. In wartime, yes. But we're at peace. Let me be the judge of that. Any further objections? No, sir. And Mr. Morton may proceed. Mr. Morton, you may proceed. Prepare to dive. Clear the bridge. Clear the bridge. Look out below. <laughs> Sign depth, sir. Trim satisfactory, sir. Very well. Make a course directly for the 11th Fleet and proceed at flank speed. Flank? We can't run at flank, sir. That hull section won't take it. I said flank speed, Mr. Morton. Or shall we have another lively discussion of the pros and cons? No, sir. Maneuvering all ahead flank. Hmm, very good. I can be reached in my quarters. Skipper, this is engineering. Go ahead. Sir, at this depth and speed, that hull section won't hold. I know. Chip, full elevation on bow planes. Blow forward ballast tanks. Admiral or no admiral, we're gonna surface. Aye, sir. Maneuvering. Full elevation on the bow. You must be shipping water fast. All hands, brace for crash. Brace for crash!
Give me a situation estimate every 10 minutes. Aye, aye, sir. You heard the report. Three compartments flooded, watertight doors holding. Can we get enough buoyancy to service? That's a good question. It's touch and go. We've lost one man for sure. They're rounding up the survivors now. You take charge here. I'm going below to see what I can do. Now, Chief, what do you think? Hmm? Doesn't look too good. But the skipper will get us out of it. Uh, maybe. But you know who got us into it, don't you? Uh, look, Ski, anybody can make a mistake in judgment. Oh, Chief, it was more than that, and you know it. Well, you heard the argument, and you saw the way the Admiral's been acting. Okay, Kowalski, what are you driving at? Come out and say it. All right, I will. The Admiral's blown his cork. Look, it's not safe to let him run around loose on his ship. Now, you listen to me, and you listen good. I don't want to hear another word. Understand? You're thinking the same thing, he wouldn't be so mad right now. Admit it. One more crack, Kowalski, and say, help me! You're on report. Now get back to your station. Mr. Morton, who is responsible for this blunder? Well, answer me. Sir, both the skipper and I tried to warn you that we were in no shape to submerge. Mm-hmm. I'm beginning to understand. You've already fixed this up between you, haven't you? I don't know what you mean, sir. Mr. Morton, I have never really trusted you. I could never tell what you were thinking. But I can tell now you've been plotting against me all along, haven't you? Well, let me tell you something, mister. You are not going to break me, but I am going to break you. You and everybody else involved in this plot, just remember that. Where's Captain Crane? Below, port side, inspecting the damage. Sir. Sir. say that? Uh, nobody, sir. I don't believe you. You're in this up to your neck. There are things to do, get out of my way. Hi, sir. Get him to sick bay as fast as you can. What's the situation? Our watertight doors are holding. We lost one man. I just sent several others to sick bay. Doc will fix him up. That'll take some doing. Doc's locked in the brig. The brig? I forgot all about it. I'll check with you later. Mr. Morton, somebody's got to do something right away about the Admiral. I know how you feel, and I don't blame you, but that's the captain's job. Well, the captain's got his hands full right now, sir. Maybe he doesn't realize how bad things are. Just a minute. I've, uh, I've got something to say about this. Chief, we already know how you feel. Now, you go ahead and put me on report, but you're not going to shut me up. Hold it. Speak your piece, Chief. All I want to say is that there's nobody on this ship who knows the Admiral better than I do. You want to wait until another crewman gets killed, huh? Maybe you want us all to get it. Knock it off and let me finish. The way I feel about the Admiral, he's... Well, he... He's my friend. Well, so... Go on. 
And right now, the man's not himself. He's sick, you know. He, he's got to be. And you want the whole crew to pay for that? No, I don't. The Admiral should be locked away somewhere where he won't hurt himself or anybody else. And uh, I want to let you guys know that uh, whatever you decide, I'm, I'm with you. Are you there, Mr. Morton? He's with us. Oh, wait a minute. This sounds pretty close to open mutiny. And I'm executive officer of this vessel. Well, that's okay, Mr. Morton. That's okay. We know you're with us, too. Doc, I'm sorry. I forgot all about you in here. What happened? Are we on the bottom? We are, and there have been some casualties. We need you in sick bay. I take it I'm on parole? Parole, you're free. Now get moving. Lee, is that you? He's gone. How did he escape? He didn't. I let him out. You what? We need him in sick bay. Besides, you know very well there are no charges against him. Order him back to the brig. We don't have time for those games now. Games? Admiral, the ship's dead on the bottom. If we can't raise her, we're dead too. <sighs> Lee, there's, there's nobody aboard this ship I can trust. Nobody but you. Now, don't let me down on this. No one aboard would let you down. <laughs> They've taken you in. But that's all right. Just listen to me. We absolutely cannot miss this rendezvous. Why? If we don't get to the test on time, there's no harm done. You don't know what I know. Now, trust me, Miss Lee. Trust me. The men and I have been talking about the Admiral's behavior. And, sir, we think he should be confined until, um, well, until he gets over this. Is that the way it is? That's the way it is, sir. And I suppose if I don't join you, you'll uh, make me walk the plank. We're deadly serious about this. You'd better be. Mutiny's a serious business. Mutiny? Now, oh, wait a minute, Skipper. We, uh, uh, we weren't thinking of pulling anything like that. Well, what do you call it? All right, I, uh, I'm willing to forget this whole talk. That is, if any of you are interested in getting the ship off the bottom and saving your lives. Get back to your stations on the double. What's the matter? You guys got two left feet or something? When the exec gives an order, you snap to it. Now jump! On the double! Sir, all stations manned and ready. Very well. Ready for order, sir. 
Make all preparations to get the ship off the bottom. Aye. Now, hear this, all hands. Stand by to raise the ship. Balance control. Low all tanks, fore and aft. Low all tanks, fore and aft. Stairs. Now keep your fingers crossed. That repaired hull is not too strong. Where do you want us to level off? On the surface. And no forward speed until we get there. And then no faster than one third. Depth one five oh. Good. Now don't let it balloon. We've got to make it a gradual pressure change. She's responding nicely. Now wait, don't stop the rise completely. Didn't. Look at that gauge. We're at dead stop. Nothing. That's impossible. What stopped us? Check the speed indicator. We're moving forward. Engine run. Stop all engines. We're trying, sir. They don't respond to controls. Speed's increasing. Looks like it's going all the way up to flank. Full up bubble. The planes can take us to the surface. Come on, up angle and all planes. We're at flank. What's wrong with these planes? It's no use. The hull won't take the strain. We're going down again. This time we won't be coming up. We can't do a thing. It's like trying to stop a runaway. I know what the trouble is. Every one of our controls is being overridden. And something like that can only be done from the circuitry room. And there's only one man aboard who knows exactly how to do it. The Admiral. Yes, the Admiral. He's mad. He's trying to kill us all. You got the con. <laughs> Ski, put this on and follow me. Chief, let's go. I'm glad you're here. Look, I want to report on our exact position in relation to the 11th Fleet. Didn't you hear me? What's our position? Unless you release those controls, we'll never get off the bottom. And this time, there won't be any survivors. What are you talking about? Look, I, I have a job to do here. Admiral Nelson, I relieve you of duty and place you under formal restraint. By authority of the regulations set down in section 14, paragraphs 42 through 51. <laughs> You are accusing me of mental incompetence? I am. Under professional information supplied to me by the ship's doctor. There's a man that tried to kill me. May I have your weapon, sir? You've joined them, haven't you? Yes, you have really joined them. Your gun, please. Mutiny is a hang your fence. And I am going to see that you hang for it. 
and the rest of your mutinous plotters. Take him to his cabin. I'll see what can be done in the secretary room. Nice. Sir. This way, sir. Don't put your hand on me. We'll use force if we have to, sir. This is Sharky. Yes, Chief. I'm in the circuitry room. He broke away from us, sir. He's loose on the ship. Is he armed? Yes, sir, he is. All right. I'll get help for you. But get him. Alive if possible, but get him. Aye, sir. Engineering, this is the captain. Engineering, aye. The control circuits are locked and automatic. Now round up the best electronics men you've got. The circuits have to be rechanneled to manual immediately. Get them to the circuitry room in the double. Aye, aye, sir. Chip. Right here. I've been listening on the squawk box. Ah, oh, good. Now I want you to muster an armed party to help the chief and Kowalski capture the admiral. Do you have it? I'm way ahead of you. They're already on their way. All right. I'll be right there. Chief. No, sir, not yet. I keep asking myself, where would he try to hide? The only trouble is I don't get any answers. It all depends on what he's trying to accomplish. Chief, I never pretended I could outthink the Admiral. But this time I've got to. Look, I'll be in the control room. Keep me advised. Aye, sir. Still at flank, still at 150 feet. We've been lucky so far. Yeah. I wonder how long it can last. What about the Admiral? Uh, nobody spotted him yet. If we could just figure out what he's up to. How? Oh, there's nothing to go on. Oh, maybe there is. Show me your position. This moment, we're here. Incidentally, elements of the 11th Fleet are on our radar now. Oh, where are they? Well, they should be within visual range in about 10 minutes or so. I don't know why I think this is important, but I just know it is.
It's no good. She won't even budge. Skipper, we found him. He's locked himself in the missile room. Missile room? That's impossible. He wouldn't try a thing like that. What do you mean? We're coming in torpedo range of the fleet. Skipper, can you hear me? He's jammed the hatch wheel. We can't get at him. Stay there, Chief. I'll get a welder to burn through the hatch. Aye, sir. Take the con. Take to cut through a hatch. Skipper, you're doing the best you can. Almost there. Now get ready to rush him. ship is as good as sunk. What have you done? What have you done? I destroyed the torpedo with a missile. You ought to know, Admiral, it's your invention. I'm going to kill you. I'll kill you! Carmen, kill you! Gas out of my lungs. You're all right now. Uh, breathing apparatus. That's what uh, started the whole thing. Apparently, the gas somehow produced a case of paranoia when you inhaled it. I've seen cases of paranoia before, but believe me, this was a beaut. <laughs> well, it's over now. I just hope there's no relapse. There won't be. But I can tell you one thing, Admiral. We'll never issue these to the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, but uh, all of a sudden we're uh, we're running a very formal ship. It's a little hard to get used to. The admiral wants a tight ship. And he's going to get one. Stand to the stations. Aye, sir. You watch. Stand to your stations. Look smart. Engineering is the exact. Engineering, aye. Keep me up to date with progress reports on the situation down there. Aye, sir. Uh, everything all right, Kowalski? Yes, sir. We spoke too soon about the explosion damage. Well, what's wrong? Engineering reports weakened hull plates between frames 38 and 42. 
How serious? Well, they can repair them in about an hour as long as we stay in the service. Well, what's our situation? Here's our position. The 11th Fleet is already concentrating about here. Mm. Well, that could be worse. By the time our courses intersect, there won't be any trouble submerging and getting out of sight. Well, that's the way I figure it. Do you want us to continue on the surface until the repairs are completed? Definitely. Still on the surface, Mr. Morton. Take her down immediately. Sir, we're having a slight repair problem. Both the skipper and I consider it advisable to remain topside until it's taken care of. Oh, you consider it uh, advisable, do you, Mr. Morton? Yes, sir. And if I consider it inadvisable? In that case, sir, it would be a good idea if you discussed it with the skipper. I see. You're telling me that I no longer have a right to make decisions aboard my own ship. No, sir. You have every right to make all decisions aboard. Thank you, Mr. Morton. That is very kind of you. Now, take her down. Well, what's the trouble, Admiral? No oh, trouble at all. No order to dive, and Mr. Morton is going to be kind enough to carry out that order. Didn't he tell you about the repairs? Am I surrounded by sea lawyers? Does every order that I give have to be accompanied by detailed explanations? Sorry, Admiral. Chip. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Edison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Crew here on the double. He couldn't have lived through that skimmer. He just couldn't. Even if he did, that, that explosion used up a little oxygen there was. We can't possibly get that hatch open in time. I tried to tell him not to do it. He wouldn't listen. Skipper, can't we do something? Like what? What about forcing oxygen through those cracks? Oh, he couldn't get enough in to have any effect at all. The EBA, you gave him a cartridge before he went down there. Yes, that would help if he were conscious, but I doubt if he is. That hatch, come on, get it open!
is it? Kowalski, sir. Come in. She said you had a sick day, sir, so I brought you some hot coffee. Close the door. Aye, right, sir. Did I order coffee? No, sir, but I, uh, I just thought you might like some. Drink it. Sir? I said, drink it. Again. Clear out of here and take your coffee with you. Aye, aye, sir. Sit down, please. It's uh, good to see you feeling better, Admiral. Don't you mean it's uh, surprising to see me feeling better? Yes, it is, in a way. Now, that was a close call. For a while there, we were afraid you were a goner. No, 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 no. I'm talking about after the explosion. You don't know what... He couldn't have lived through that, Skipper. He just couldn't. Even if he did, that, that explosion used up a little oxygen there was. We can't possibly get that hatch open in time. I tried to tell him not to do it. He wouldn't listen. Skipper, can't we do something? Like what? What about forcing oxygen through those cracks? Oh, he couldn't get enough in to have any effect at all. The EVA, you gave him a cartridge before he went down there. Yes, that would help if he were conscious, but I doubt if he is. That hatch, come on, get it open! Most is air. Not getting much of that with this crowd around here. I right, sir. Come on, Ski. Let's go. Yes, Captain. I'll keep you posted. Uh, he'll be okay, though. After I give him a sedative and he gets a little rest, he'll be fine.
Wheel. We can't get at him. Stay there, Chief. I'll get a welder to burn through the hatch. Aye, sir. Take the con. Take to cut through a hatch. Skipper, you're doing the best you can. Almost there. Now get ready to rush him. Forces intersect, there won't be any trouble submerging and getting outside. Well, that's the way I figure it. Do you want us to continue on the surface until the repairs are completed? Definitely. still on the surface, Mr. Morton. Take her down immediately. Sir, we're having a slight repair problem. Both the skipper and I consider it advisable to remain topside until it's taken care of. Oh. You consider it uh, advisable, do you, Mr. Morton? Yes, sir. And if I consider it inadvisable? In that case, sir, it would be a good idea if you discussed it with the skipper. I see. You're telling me that I no longer have a right to make decisions aboard my own ship. No, sir. You have every right to make all decisions aboard. Thank you, Mr. Morton. That is very kind of you. Now, take her down. What's the trouble, Admiral? No oh, trouble at all. Order to dive, and Mr. Morton is going to be kind enough to carry out that order. Didn't he tell you about the repairs? Am I surrounded by sea lawyers? Does every order that I give have to be accompanied by detailed explanations? Sorry, Admiral. Chip, make all necessary preparations to dive. Aye, sir. Engineering, this is the exec. Engineering, aye. Secure the detail. We're going to dive. Well, that could be trouble, sir. Uh, no, engineering is taking over command. Mr. Morton, will you uh, answer them? Secure the work detail. Aye, sir. Well, carry.
Carry on. Aye, aye, sir. You disapprove, Captain. I just don't see the necessity for a dive at this time. Well, I do. A submarine on the surface is a sitting duck. In wartime, yes. But we're at peace. Let me be the judge of that. Any further objections? No, sir. And Mr. Morton may proceed. Mr. Morton, you may proceed. You disapprove, Captain. I just don't see the necessity for a dive at this time. Well, I do. A submarine on the surface is a sitting duck. In wartime, yes. But we're at peace. Let me be the judge of that. Any further objections? No, sir. And Mr. Morton may proceed. Mr. Morton, you may proceed. Prepare to dive. Clear the bridge. Clear the bridge. Look out below. <laughs> Assigned depth, sir. Trim satisfactory, sir. Very well. Make a course directly for the 11th Fleet and proceed at flank speed. Flank? We can't run at flank, sir. That hull section won't take it. I said flank speed, Mr. Morton. Or shall we have another lively discussion of the pros and cons? No, sir. Maneuvering all ahead flank. Hmm, very good. I can be reached in my quarters. Skipper, this is engineering. Go ahead. Sir, at this depth and speed, that hull section won't hold. I know. Chip, full elevation on bar planes. Blow forward ballast tanks. Admiral or no admiral, we're gonna surface. Aye, sir. Maneuvering. Full elevation on the bow. Heavy. We must be shipping water fast. All hands, brace for crash. Brace for crash! The fool! The murderous fool! I tried to tell him not to do it. He wouldn't listen. We do something. Like what? What about forcing oxygen through those cracks? Oh, he couldn't get enough in to have any effect at all. The EBA, you gave him a cartridge before he went down there. Yes, that would help if he were conscious, but I doubt if he is. That hatch, come on, get it open! <laughs>
needs most is air. He's not getting much of that with this crowd around here. All right, sir. Come on, Skeet. Let's go. Yes, Captain. I'll keep you posted. Uh, he'll be okay, though. After I give him a sedative and he gets a little rest, he'll be fine. Thanks. with you. Aye, aye, sir. to report to you. Sit down, please. It's uh, good to see you feeling better, Admiral. Don't you mean it's uh, surprising to see me feeling better? Yes, it is, in a way. Now, that was a close call. For a while there, we were afraid you were a goner. No, 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 no. I'm talking about after the explosion. No. You don't know what I mean, do you? No, sir. I'm afraid I don't. Good. Good. Glad to hear that, Lee. I... I just couldn't bring myself to believe that you were in on it. Well, Admiral, you, uh, you'd uh, better explain this to me. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. I want you to put the ship's doctor under arrest. Arrest? What for? What did he do? Are you disputing my orders, too? No, sir, of course not. But to arrest someone, there's got to be a charge. Oh, there'll be a charge, all right. A nice, fat charge. They'll get that sanctimonious man of medicine a general court-martial. I'm charging him with attempted murder. Not ten minutes ago, he tried to kill me. What happened in here? You might call it a brief altercation. Depth one five oh. Good. Now don't let it balloon. We've got to make it a gradual pressure change. She's responding nicely. Now 
wait, don't stop the rise completely. I didn't. Look at that gauge, we're at dead stop. Nothing. That's impossible, what stopped us? Check the speed indicator. We're moving forward. Engine run. Stop all engines. We're trying, sir. They don't respond to controls. Speed's increasing. Looks like it's going all the way up the flank. Full up bubble. The planes can take us to the surface. Come on, up angle and all planes. We're at flank. What's wrong with these planes? It's no use. The hull won't take the strain. We're going down again. This time we won't be coming up. We can't do a thing. It's like trying to stop a runaway. I know what the trouble is. Every one of our controls is being overridden. And something like that can only be done from the circuitry room. And there's only one man aboard who knows exactly how to do it. The Admiral. Yes, the Admiral. He's mad. He's trying to kill us all. You got the con. Well, come on, Ski. Put this on and follow me. Chief, let's go. Glad you're here. Look, I want to report on our exact position in relation to the 11th Fleet. Well, didn't you hear me? What's our position? Unless you release those controls, we'll never. I'll get a welder to burn through the hatch. Aye, sir. Take the con. <laughs> Take to cut through a hatch. Skipper, you're doing the best you can. Almost there. Now get ready to rush him. Ship is as good as sunk. What have you done? What have you done? I destroyed the torpedo with a missile. You ought to know, Admiral, it's your invention. Gas out of my lungs. <clears throat> You're all right now. Uh, breathing apparatus. That's what uh, started the whole thing. Apparently, the gas somehow produced a case of paranoia when you inhaled it. I've seen cases of paranoia before, but believe me, this was a butte. <laughs> well, it's over now. I just hope there's no relapse. Mm, there won't be. But I can tell you one thing, Admiral. We'll never issue these to the crew. <laughs> <laughs> 